Welcome to BBC London, I'm Vanessa Baffo. Well, as you may have been hearing, controversial plans for a third runway at Heathrow Airport have been thrown into doubt following this morning's ruling at the Court of Appeal. Environmental campaigners contested plans and judges have ruled that the project was unlawful because the government's climate change policies were not taken into account. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards has been speaking to the Mayor of London. What was your reaction when you heard uh, the judgment? I'm delighted. Uh, it's a real vindication for those of us who worry uh, about climate change, worry about air pollution, worry about noise pollution, worry about whether the road and rail network can cope with a new runway, worry about the quality of life in London. What I hope happens now is the government finally abandons plans for a third runway. Isn't this bad for the economy, particularly with Brexit coming, don't we need more expansion, more flights, more airports? You know what's bad for our economy is climate change. What's bad for our economy is the consequences of poor quality air. What's bad for our economy is noise pollution. What's bad for our economy is a road and rail network that can't cope with the capacity caused by a new runway at uh, Heathrow. What message does this send, though? London's meant to be open, that's what you keep saying. It's closed, isn't it? If we're not expanding our airports, people won't be able to get here without paying higher fares. You know, we've got to be ambitious, actually, the climate emergency and climate change gives us an opportunity to move towards a, a green economy, to find in some of the solutions to the challenges uh, we face. I want London to be a hub where people who are innovators, investors, want to find the solutions to these modern day challenges. What do you want now from government? Amend or withdraw? No, it's quite clear. Uh, the Court of Appeal today have held that the government's policy is unlawful. The phrase they used is legally fatal. What the government should do is rather than tinker with its uh, uh, airport's national policy statement, finally abandon plans for any, any new runway at Heathrow. Well, the ruling will also have an impact on the local economy. Our political editor, Tim Donovan, has been getting reaction from local businesses in West London. Close to the airport, this festival of business in Hounslow today. And Gwen, who creates productive spaces for companies, felt this morning's decision was a backward step. I don't think it makes a good statement. I think at this time also, if I dare say the word Brexit, you know, it, it's a time when you want to say, we are open for business. We are open to internationals. We will accommodate people in greater numbers that want to flock here. That too, the view at a firm specialising in energy saving measures. Don't give up expansion now, but address the climate issue. It is very important because it's going to create more jobs and going to create a lot of opportunities for West London and that's what we're looking for. The truth is it's a difficult call for many who live as well as work here. I'm currently living under one flight path and it's really noisy, really, really noisy. So I can, I can only feel for, for the residents when the third uh, runway will come up. But from a business point of view, it's more business, more money for us more lending for us. Definitely economic benefit uh, weighs more. I mean, um, you know, you'll see uh, job opportunities, you'll see uh, the business thriving in the area. So um, I'm for it, but I do feel for the uh, people that live in the uh, flight path. If you were Boris Johnson, what decision would you make though? Go ahead with it now or dump it? <laughs> I think uh, it's a tough one, but um, for the sake of economy, I'd say go for it. Yeah. And if the Chamber of Commerce rep is not convinced there's enough local infrastructure guaranteed yet, he doesn't say never. They might dump the whole idea altogether. Would you want them to do that? Um, I, I, from a, probably a resident perspective, yes. Probably from a business perspective, maybe no. That is the dilemma. A tricky decision indeed for Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Tim Donovan, BBC London. In other news, the number of fires in London